Hello, Sunshine. Thanks for joining me today. We got lots to cover in AI and technology, so if you're ready, let's hop right into it. Amazon dropped a ton of AI announcements this week. Let me walk you through them. First up, uh, they're going to be using AI this holiday season to deliver your packages faster than ever. You're not going to believe how quickly they're going to do this. I'm going to tell you in just a second. They're expecting 71 million shoppers on Cyber Monday. So the company is uh, preparing to dispatch orders from same day facilities within. You ready for this? 11 minutes. 11 minutes and your boxes will be right by your door. And that's thanks to new robots. The merging of AI and robotics is really an exciting time for us. We have more than 750,000 of those mobile robots out in the world. They allow us to move inventory, to store inventory, ID various inventory, all with the idea of having the right good, the world's largest selection of goods available to our customers. Now, Amazon's new AI initiative will also help to look ahead and forecast what customers are going to need months ahead of time. Uh, they will also use robot helpers for tasks like fetching, packing, and sorting packages. Uh, Amazon also introduced AI-powered vision, and that's going to help Amazon drivers with safety and efficiency on the road. Now, there has been concerns about these robots taking people's jobs. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. They took your jobs. But Amazon says not to worry because they're actually creating new positions in robotics. Okay, well, Amazon may not have built a chat GPT, but it now has a new AI helper. Today, Amazon announced a chatbot called Q for its AWS cloud platforms. Think of Q as a ChatGPT style chatbot, but for business users like coders, administrators, and business analysts who use AWS at work. Now, how is it gonna help them? Well, it's going to answer questions about AWS cloud services and generate business reports. Now, Q is also integrated in Amazon's customer service platform, and it's going to help agents solve support issues. Uh, but it doesn't end there. Amazon also announced they're rolling out new and powerful AI chips to train and run their AI models. And speaking of those powerful chips, Amazon is also announcing a host of new partnerships with NVIDIA. They're launching two new AI chips together, Tranium 2 and Graviton 4. Let me introduce them to you. Tranium 2 uh, is going to make training for advanced models faster, and Graviton 4 is going to increase computing power. But the bigger news is Amazon and NVIDIA's partnership that's going to bring the GH200 Grace Hopper Super Chips to the cloud. What is that going to do? Well, it's going to make AI tasks on Amazon's compute cloud faster and smarter. But wait, there is more. They're also bringing NVIDIA's DGX cloud to AWS. What does that mean? Uh, well, that's a platform that makes powerful AI training tools for developers to create smarter AI applications. A whole plethora of AI announcements. It was definitely an exciting week for Amazon in terms of AI and experts are saying these partnerships are gonna be a huge step in making Amazon a key player in AI, no doubt. All right, here's my last and wildest AI story for you. Check this out. The first AI model is officially here, guys, and I'm talking about a human model, like the ones on the runway, okay? She's here, there she is. Meet Aitana Lopez. She's the first Spanish model built by AI. Guys, take a look at her. She is not real. She's 25 years old. I'm not sure how they aged her, uh, but she's 25 years old. She's from Barcelona. Uh, she loves fitness, gaming, apparently cosplay, long walks at the beach. She likes to hold your hand. I'm just kidding. Uh, but she has become a virtual sensation with that pink hair and all the imperfections. I mean, seriously, can we take a closer look here? Look at those imperfections. They're just unreal. I mean, she has had me fooled. I still can't believe 
Uh, she's not real. I mean, she's not real. That's crazy to me. Uh, so the story is she was created by Ruben Cruz, who owns an agency in Barcelona. Apparently, Cruz was having a tough time with his models. I don't know. Maybe they were coming to work late, not showing up to uh, their call times. But regardless, he turned to AI uh, to create a perfect model for his clients. And needless to say, Aitana is never late to work uh, and she requires no photo shoots or wardrobe changes. And so far, she's been a hit with all the clients and social media. She's got over 120,000 Instagram followers. Uh, she even landed a few big gigs apparently, but here's the best part. You ready for this? She's making up to 10,000 euros per month. 10,000 euros per month. She's making way more than an average model. I, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, but now also Aitana has raised some questions about the role of AI in setting beauty standards. But her uh, creators are saying, hey, we're just mirroring the examples influencer setting right now on social media. I don't know. What do you think? Would you hire Aitana to model your products or would you take her out on a date? Apparently some celebrities took her out on a date. That's just weird. Um, let me know. <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments. I love to hear from you. That's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again next week with more news and technology.